Hi guys, in this video we will learn how to drag and drop file upload using dropzone.js in Laravel. So let's get started with example and let's see. So I already downloaded fresh Laravel application. You can see that and also configured the database. So you can see that I already configured my SQL database over here. So what we will do in this example, simply I will create images table and there will be a one page where you can upload a multiple file using drag and drop and store into the folder and also store into the database okay so let's see so first of all i will create one migration okay so php artisan mac migration and i will say create images table so i will create images table so let me go here into the migration and here i will take only one column for now string and i will simply say file name save so once file will upload we will store into folder and store name into the table okay simply save it okay and i will simply say php artisan migrate okay now you can see that migration is run and if i refresh it you can see that images table are there with the file name column same thing i will create model for it so php artisan mac model and i will simply say image okay and if i go here and simply model and you can see that it's there and i will simply define the file column so i will say protected and fillable and i will simply give file name because only single column are there so simply save it okay now i will create one controller okay so php artisan mac controller and i will say drop john controller okay and it, you can see that it's created one controller over here you can see here now i will create two routes okay first for the get and one for the post request okay so simply i will create first route over here get and simply say drop john and then i will simply say drop john controller column column class and i will simply say index okay index method okay and simply i will use the namespace of the drop zone controller so i will use drop zone controller simply save it inside the drop zone controller i will create one index method okay and simply return view and i will simply say drop zone save it okay and same thing i will also use namespace of image okay and i will get all the latest images okay so simply i will say images okay image and i will simply use latest function and simply i get at a time all the images okay and simply pass with the compact okay and i will say images save it okay and now let me go here into the resource and i will create drop zone blade file okay so same thing drop zone dot blade dot php okay and here i will be used bootstrap so you can see that bootstrap cdn and simply i use the card header okay and i will simply say drag and drop file upload okay simply give the title save it okay and here what i will do i will simply first of all create the bootstrap table so i will say bootstrap table okay and i will give simply name file name and simply image okay and here i will simply display all the records okay so simply i will use for each okay and images variable that we pass and simply key and i will simply use images image and then i will simply say and for each okay and then i will start tr okay and simply td inside that and i will display first plus plus key so it will be auto incremented and then i will simply say image file name okay and same thing for the image i will keep right now this file name okay and save it okay and now if i go here and let me run the project so if i go here and php artisan sir okay now let me go here and i will simply what we created route drop zone and if i hit enter you can see that simply table right now we don't have a record now what i will do simply add drop zone above and there is a submit button okay so i will create one form over here so i will say bootstrap form okay you can see that it's created a form right now success message and that we don't require so i'm not going to add that 
and outside the form i will add the class okay and save it okay and i will add one class that call drop zone and simply save it okay and now what i will do i will simply go here and go to the drop zone js uh, documentation if i click on it okay and there is an installation and if i click on it there is a standalone right now we just use cdn so i will use drop zone v6 so i will simply copy the script and css and simply i will paste it over here okay and yeah save it okay and at the end i will start the script okay script okay and here what i will do i will simply create one variable that's called my drop john new and i will simply say drop john and which element you want to add drop zone so we already created one class that's called drop zone class and simply i will use empty configuration file okay and simply save it and let's run the example if i go here and hit refresh you can see that there is a simple uh, you can see here like uh, there is a drop uh, option created and if i go here and refresh you can see that drop zone url is not provided that means we need to create one more action url because without action url that's not drop zone properly load okay so if i go here and i will create one more route over here that called post route and drop zone slash store and simply i will use store method over there and i will give the route name so simply i will say drop zone dot store simply save it i will copy it okay and if i go here and here i will be defined simply route save it okay and now if i go and refresh it you can see that drag and file and drop over here okay you can see that and if you go here and if you can anyone you can choose it for example my picture you can see that right now it gives error because in store method we haven't created into the controller so that's the reason it's give the error okay but you can see that it's properly layout of drop zone now if i go here into the drop zone and you go here into the page documentation there is some options that we need to configure okay so if i go here and that simply say upload multiple so we allow upload multiple so here simply just we need to do upload multiple true that means user can upload multi file multiple file at a time okay simply save it and if i go upload queue okay so when you when you click on submit button then and then file should be upload okay so i will simply say auto process you can see that like if you have option auto process set true then queue is immediately processed okay but we need to make it false so i will say auto process false okay save it okay and yeah save it and there is uh, more configuration option are there like you can set the methods url and also you can set the file size okay so for example if i go here size then also you can set the proper file size uh, validation like only 2 mb file should be uploaded so there are more option you can take a look on uh, you know uh, on uh, documentation but right now for simple example we just proceed with the two option okay and simply save it okay and now what i will do when someone will click on submit button so i will simply give the id that's called like a form submit save it okay when you click on it simply go here and and simply i will say click event okay and then i will simply say function okay then what happened my drop zone okay and if i go here into the upload queue process we will use process queue method so that way when i click on the button like for example when i choose the image okay and for example there is a first of all dollar is not found so what i will do simply use cdn from the website so i will copy the script okay and paste it over here so first of all let me paste it okay and if i go here now what is the meaning of this okay so let me go here like why process queue so when i upload two images okay for example this one and if, if i upload like for example this one and if i click on submit then and then that process will start you can see that right now process is not started like file is not uploaded i will you can see that so when i click on it then and then it goes to next if i go here i will create one more method that's called i will say store and here simply i will return 
response and I will simply say JSON response and here I will simply pass success equal to one okay and simply save it okay and now if I go here and refresh it okay and I will also write one more method that's called on success so I will say simply my drop zone on and I will say success okay and that way we can see like our a functionality is working or not like from the controller that response coming or not first of all there will be a file argument and then response so i will simply say console dot log and i will simply say res save it okay simply save it okay and now if i refresh it i will choose two images for example one and then i will choose another okay and simply click on submit you can see that success success so you can see and you understand how easily we can do it okay so upload multiple files also we make it true and you can see that file uploaded successfully and two response we are getting we are able to get okay and now if i go here okay here one more thing we need to do simply go here and if i do it and let me go info and i will simply say request what we are getting here so simply let's see with the log so simply go here and i will simply say empty it okay and if i go here and refresh it and let me choose again the file and if i go and click on submit we got the file object properly you can see here okay so now what we need to do simply here i will be create images variable sorry I will simply say for each loop okay and what I will do request and what is the name of the log you can see here file so I will say file file will be in the array and then I will be defined file name and then I will simply use time function so unique name will be keep there okay and then underscore I will simply say and then I will use random function that will be random 1 to 100 value will be written and then I will simply say value that means file variable so I will use file because this is the object okay file upload object so I can easily get the extension so I will say extension and simply save it so this is the define the file name and then file object there is a move for move function and we need to just simply give the first argument of the path folder path public underscore Path and I will create images folder over here simply images and at the last file name and simply save it okay and now if I go here I will create the, inside the public folder there is a images folder okay I've already created over here okay simply save it okay and then I will create image colon colon create and I will create new record over here that's called file name first okay and then I will simply say file name okay save it okay and return the success response now if i go here and refresh it and let's check okay so i will choose one image and click on submit you can see that success and if i refresh it you can see that there is one record created over here if i refresh it you can see that that's record created and same thing if i go here and there is a images so what is the name so like 48 at the end then you can see that there is a 48 and if you, you can see that my profile picture is there okay same thing if i go here into the blade file we just give the name so here I will be use image tag and then I will say simply images because inside the public folder we can easily access okay and simply paste it and I will simply give the style and then simply say width should be 80 pixel okay save it okay and now if I go and refresh it you can see it same thing if I go here and I will simply say two image for example one and I will also upload multiple so download and go another okay and click on submit and both are done and if i refresh it you can see that both images are uploaded so you can understand how easily you can drag and drop your uh, files okay same thing let me go here and show you how drag and drop as well it is working so let me go here and i will simply take this image and go here and paste it you can see that and if i cl click submit it's uploaded and you can see that it's work so you can see that how easily you can drag and drop file upload in laravel using drop .js. So if you like my video, then please subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you so much for watching, guys.